Hi, I'm Pam. This is video 13 of 20 videos about writing your business plan. In our last video, we talked about your promotion plan. And this video, we're going to talk about your promotional budget. So when you're thinking about your budget, you have two areas to consider. One is your startup plan. How are you going to start up getting everybody knowing about you? And then the second part is your maintenance budget or your ongoing budget for promoting your product. And then you want to write down in detail how you came up with the price of your product and what your, what your strategy was. Why did you choose the price that you ended up choosing? Then you want to take that price and compare it with your competitive analysis and also with your competition. Now, you may think you want to be the lowest price, but I want to caution you against that. So as a, as a new company, being the lowest price park, uh, product out there will definitely cut into your profit margins, and you don't need that the first year of your business or when you're just getting started. So that's one reason to not be the lowest. Another reason is that there are lots of larger companies out there that will always be able to be lower than whatever your price is. Finally, is the lowest price really the image you want to portray? A lot of times people associate lowest priced with lowest quality. And I have one friend who does a lot of contracting work in his house. When he gets bids, whoever is the lowest, he just assumes that they don't know what they're doing and he throws that bid out. So a lot of times customers aren't looking at the lowest price. I know in my business, my piano school, because my prices are low, because I wanted them to be affordable for everybody, then a lot of people assume that means they're no good. And so I had to fight that image or come up with another way of presenting the image of quality piano classes, even though they were also affordable. And in some locations, I also offer scholarships, but I never give a 100% scholarship for that same reason. If it's free, people think it's, doesn't, it's not worth anything. So those are some things to consider when you're writing out your promotional budget. In our next video, we're going to talk about your operation plan. See you then.